You are welcome to Cup of Faith of Yaba Baptist Church, Lagos, with the church pastor, Reverend Dr. Bayo Shola Aremu. God bless you as you listen. Our God is good and will never cease to be good. It's a new day and another week to experience the goodness of the Lord. May you not lack anything good this week in Jesus' name. Today's edition of Cup of Faith Daily Devotional is a continuation of the topic, Beware of Political Deception. The text of emphasis remains Luke 21 and verse 8, saying, Watch out that you are not deceived, for many will come in my name, claiming, I am he, and the time is near. Do not follow them. Hallelujah. From a moral standpoint, deception is wrong because it involves embezzlement of trust. Political leaders who trade in misrepresentation and half truths ignore the fact that lying to the people they serve or seek to serve is a violation of common moral principle that deceiving others is wrong. In the first instance, deception occurs because a certain level of trust exists between the parties involved. Politicians seek votes by pandering to voters, making them feel they are accessible and ordinary like them, thus gaining their trust. It is when the trust begins to take root that deception starts. Deception does not occur unless one party trusts the other. After deception, exploitation of trust follows using the electorate for their own ends. In every area of human interactions and endeavor, betrayal destroys trust in relationships that are essential to human institutions like family, business, education, and representative government. That is why the earth of a democracy and its continued existence depends on the ability of its leaders to garner popular support for their policies. Support requires widespread trust in those leaders. Indeed, the trust of constituents is one of a political leader's most valuable assets. Lying to voters squanders that trust and diminishes his or her capacity to lead and or govern. Therefore, as citizens, we have a responsibility to impress upon those who lead that truth is constant, immutable, and that we do care about truth, about honesty, and that we value integrity in those who seek to lead us. We have an added responsibility and burden in furtherance of truth. We must bear witness to good leadership and support good leaders to deliver beyond our aspirations. In like manner, we must refrain from encouraging bad leadership by giving support to deceptive, greedy, and heartless individuals who see governance as an opportunity to manipulate, exploit, loot, and enrich himself at the expense of the poor masses. Beloved of God, we must think complexity must be futuristic and demand more from those who seek our votes. Not only must we safeguard our future, we must build a solid foundation for our children and generations after them. We must understand that selling our votes is an unacceptable cost. If we don't do the right thing today, the cost mounts exponentially and we won't finish repaying the principal. I pray for you today. May the Lord bless and prosper your endeavors this week in Jesus' name. You will not be a victim of any evil circumstance. Every trap of the wicked set for you shall catch fire. Evil plans targeted against you shall not succeed. Go and experience the goodness of God. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good day and a blessed week. Christ is the answer.
We believe you've been blessed by the message from the throne of grace. For further inquiries, prayer, and counseling, kindly contact 0907-799-6648. That's 0907-799-6648. The church is located at 19 Stroke 23 Commercial Avenue, Raymond Street, Sabo Yaba, Lagos. We meet on Sundays by 8 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. and on Wednesdays by 6 p.m. Join us same time right here on Every Other Day. Christ is the answer to all human needs. Thanks for listening.